2010, The Bold and the Beautiful was named by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most popular TV soap opera. Hello, Jackie. You know this guy? Uh, 24 years since the show's inception, it's a beautiful phenomenon that the show is still as bold and running thanks to Kenya's number one channel, KBC. I will walk away from this company and I will never look back. But I will not walk away from our son. It goes without saying that when one of the show's creators, Bradley Philip Bell, visited the country, we were the ones granted the exclusive opportunity to chat with the candid brains behind the show. My father and I uh, worked together in creating the show in 1987. Um, and then we, we wrote it together for the first six years. And for the last uh, 19 years, I've been writing it. I hope you're better in the fashion business than you are in the following business. We were hoping for 10 years. Um, we were a half hour show in, in the United States at a time when soap operas were getting canceled. And now 24 years later to be winning the, the Guinness Book of World Records award is, is just way beyond our wildest dreams. What's going on? Tell him it's over. Bradley expounds on the mystery of rarely ever finding his cast members in blockbuster movies. They're under uh, exclusive contract to us. Um, occasionally we give them outs so they can do other projects, but we're, we're really um, shooting the show around the clock, uh, uh, you know, most weeks out of the year. So it's very difficult for us to accommodate uh, any other work yeah. for them, but we give them steady employment and it's, it's, uh, they're very happy to be, to be exclusive with us. I'm putting you all on notice as of now. It's amazing how some characters like Ridge Forrester, played by Ron Moss, have managed to entertain their audiences. And Bell speaks on the ultimate longevity. I draw from the actors very often. And Susan Flannery, who plays Stephanie Forrester, she, she is one of the strongest, sharpest women I've ever met. And she's, she's a, a, a great role model, I think. Um, not in everything she does, but, but as someone who uh, uh, speaks her mind and is very assertive. And, uh, and, and yet does everything for her, uh, her family. I'll give you one more chance. You want me to quit my job? You're going to leave. Leave? <laughs> Town. Brooke, on the other hand, her, her nemesis is uh, very emotional and leads with her heart, but still from a good place. Do you really have to go? I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh my. In 1998, then budding musician Asher Raymond appeared on The Bold and the Beautiful as a guest star. Today, Asher is one of the biggest R&B stars in the world and Brad sure remembers having rubbed shoulders with Mr. Raymond. I have seen him and he's always very grateful and, and thankful. He's a wonderful person. But when he left, he said, thank you, Mr. Bell, and someday I'm going to be a big star. He speaks on the future plans. We do have a, a new opening and, and a remix of, of the, the theme song uh, that's coming, coming in the near future. We've just renegoti renegotiated with CBS in the United States and, and many of our affiliates. So, uh, we we're, we're, uh, have a strong business model and, and the future is looking good, so I think we'll be on the air for quite a few years to come. The question on everybody's mind, what could have brought the world-renowned director to this beautiful country? We are here uh, on a family trip, really. I have my four children and my wife, and um, we've been traveling all over Africa. It's our first time to Africa, so it's just wonderful to... Uh, to, to tour and, and, and see all the different regions. We, we'd love to shoot in Africa. I mean, that is another reason why I'm here, just to get ideas and meet people and make connections. Philip finally sets the record straight concerning his show's criticism on its various incestuous themes. I think that kind of comes with being a half hour show, with, being, um, with having a very small cast and wanting to keep the, the cast front and center. So we, if we bring in too many uh, new cast members, people might lose interest. We didn't come to argue, we came to talk. I really don't see the point. <laughs> well, I, everything ends, especially on television, but we've had such a great run. It's been 24 years and uh, we're, it's still successful. I'm so honored, really, that people are interested and in, in entertained by, by my stories. Mm -hmm.